This is a video on vectors where we're going to have a look at how we can find the magnitude of a vector and the bearing at which it acts. So you should remember from GCSE that a vector can be written like this where the number at the top says um, how many squares you're moving in the positive x direction and the number on the bottom says how many squares you're moving in the positive y direction. Or alternatively you could think of it as this is to the east and this is to the north. So, uh, if we had a vector that was like 3, uh, 5, let's do that. I want to work out what's the magnitude of this vector and what bearing does it act? So, uh, this means that I go 3 squares to the, uh, to the right or 3 squares to the east and 5 squares to the north. So the overall result of this is that I started here and end up there. And what you can see is we have a right angle triangle. And so when we talk about the magnitude, we're talking about what's the overall size of this line. So it's a quick bit of Pythagoras. 3 squared plus 5 squared so 9 plus 25 is 34. Square root that, and I get root 34. So the magnitude is root 34. Done. Next, the bearing. And what bearing does this vector act at? Let's remember what a bearing is. It's an angle measured clockwise from north. Remember, I started here, so I'm going to draw my north line here. And I want to work out what is that angle there? What is this bearing? That's the bearing at which this vector is acting. Well, there's lots of different ways you could do this. For me, I think this, the way I'm going to show you now generalises the easiest. If I worked out this vector, I call that x. If I work out that vector there, uh, sorry, not vector, angle, if I work out that angle there, then I can take it away from 90 and get this angle because I know that this is a right angle there. So I can work out this angle here really easily because I've got the opposite side and I've got the adjacent side. So I could say tan x equals 5 over 3. So x equals 10 inverse 5 over 3, which is 59 degrees. So if x is 59 degrees, that means that my bearing is going to be uh, 90, take away 51. So that's 31 degrees. Um, with bearings, we often give them as three bigger bearings, so you might need to put a zero in the front there, zero, three, one. Let's look at a slightly more complicated one. What if I wanted to work out the magnitude and the bearing of this vector? Uh, let's say minus six, minus eight. So let's try and picture what's going on here. That's my starting position. I'm going six squares to the left, or six squares to the west, and then I'm going to go eight squares down, or eight squares to the south. So my overall result is that vector. To get the magnitude of that vector, do a quick bit of Pythagoras. 6 squared plus 8 squared, so 36 plus 64 is 100, so this would be 10. So I've got a magnitude of 10. In terms of the bearing, remember I started here to draw my north line. And the angle is measured clockwise from north. 
So I'd like to know what is that angle all the way around there. That's the bearing. Well, if I work out this angle, then I could do, well I know all the way around to here is 270. So if I work out this angle, I could do 270, take away x, and that will leave me with the bearing that I want. So, tan x is equal to the opposite, divided by the adjacent. So x equals tan inverse of 8 divided by 6. Which is 53 degrees. So my bearing then for theta, if this is 53 degrees, the angle there will be 270 take away 53, which is going to be 217 degrees.